This is WYMT Mountain Sports, your home for the Kentucky Wildcats and local high school sports. The search for a new linebackers and special teams coach will continue for Mark Stoops. Former EKU head coach Dean Hood declines the offer to join Stoops staff at Kentucky, so Hood will remain the assistant head coach in Charlotte. That's the job he took back in December after he was fired from EKU, where he went 55 and 38 in eight seasons. Well, Derby Week is here, and the 142nd Kentucky Oaks will take place Friday at Churchill Downs in Louisville. Rachel's Valentina is the 7-2 favorite for the $1 million race. Rachel's Valentina is the daughter of 2009 Oaks winner Rachel Alexandra, and Valentina will start in post-11. Songbird, the heavy early favorite, is out of the race because of a lingering fever. 14 Phillies are in the field for Friday's race in Louisville. Tara Permissa draws the rail, then it's Weep No More at 9 to 2. Lewis Bay, Go Maggie Go, and Dream Dance. Venus Valentine is the number 10 post. Out of the 11, it's the morning line favorite, Rachel's Valentina, the second Pletcher horse, Catherine Sophia, right next to her at 9 to 2. Land over sea, she's at 5 to 1 and taxable will break from the 14 post. Bart Williams officially introduced as the new boys basketball coach at Bath County. Williams takes over a Wildcats program that hasn't been out of the first round of the district since 2009 when they won the thing or won the 61st under Jim Hicks. And while the former Pikeville head coach doesn't have a lot of high expectations, he still expects to compete for a region title. Although there's no pressure on us, uh, um, you know, I'm used to being competitive. You know, we didn't set the world on fire at Pikeville. You know, we wanted to win a 15th regional title. We didn't. Uh, but, uh, you know, I do want to compete here, and I want to, I want to compete for a 16th region title. And uh, I, think, I think the people of Bath County are starving for some basketball success, and, and I look forward to, to being a part of that. It's hard finding a recipe right now. That's what Reds manager Brian Price said last night after the bullpen stunk it up once again for Cincinnati. On the night that the Reds smoke former ace Johnny Cueto, putting up six runs in the third inning, the bullpen, well, it did bullpen things. 20th straight game in which the Reds bullpen gave up at least one run. They gave up six and they lost. Price admits they may have some guys that aren't ready for the big leagues, but they have to deal with it because of injuries. I mean, there's a lot of opportunity to pitch. There's nobody that's sitting down there and rotting in the bullpen, and and uh, everyone's getting a chance to, to get the ball rolling and to, and to pick things up. Um, but the, it has to happen. You know, we have to turn a corner here and, and go out and string the pitches together that we're capable of and, and start to, to put some scoreless innings up there. All right, Reds and Giants again tonight at Great American Ballpark. 7-10 first pitch. Cincinnati is 1-7 in its last eight games and has lost four in a row to the Giants will also have later tonight uh, Johnson Center softball at Pikeville. That should be a lot of fun out there. That sports will be back.